Hello everybody. Today we're going to use PoE++ to set up an IB device system. So PoE++ is a standard specification for our PoE technology and the PoE technology transmits power and data these two through a single Ethernet cable. So really convenient because instead of lining multiple power ports and Ethernet cables, mostly you can use one Ethernet cable for the whole transmission. So it will be very clean and tidy. And PoE technology has been improving and advancing and there are three specifications now. The PoE is the most basic one, which provides 13 watts of the rem reminder power at the end. And PoE Plus is a little bit advanced, it provides about 26 watts at the end. And if we have high power demands, we can use a PoE Plus Plus. This is a technology which uses the whole entire Ethernet cable to transmit power and data. So an Ethernet, Ethernet cable usually has four twisted pairs of wire, of copper wire. And if we use PoE++, all four pairs will be occupied and transmit power and data at the same time. This way, the power loss will be lower and we will have higher bandwidth as well because all four pairs are occupied. So when we use PoE++, usually the bandwidth can reach 1000 megabit per second and the power output is like 95 watts with uh, 27, 72 watts reminder at the end. Now right here, this is a recorder and this is connected to our monitor here. And then we're going to use a regular network system with Ethernet and a router to, to provide data to our system and now we're going to need to find a way to provide power. So there are usually two ways to provide power to a PoE system. Usually it's a PoE switch which is like a ex data exchange device with power up supplying integrated in it. So when the PoE switch is act active it will send power and data through all the ports. But if we have like an Ethernet cable system, a regular router at our house, we can use a PoE injector to uh, inject power to the Ethernet cable and use an uh, uh, upgraded to PoE standard network as well. Usually a 30 watts PoE ex uh, injector right here can help us power up like a one or two IP cameras and a uh, or a wireless access point that's pretty enough. This supports PoE Plus, but today we're going to use a power zoom camera and power a monitor as well. This will require a lot of power because a monitor, you know, it has so many pixels and it will show a lot of detail so this will require more power than regular devices. So we're going to use a regular if, uh, router network so we're going to use a 95 watts PoE injector. This 95 watts high power PoE injector like it's saying 95 watts output and you can see there are indicators here which will monitor the output and of course it supports the thousand megabits per second bandwidth. And in most PoE injector involved situations, we have a PoE splitter that we can use. A PoE splitter is like a reverse device from a PoE injector. PoE injector receives data and then it combines it with power sending PoE signals. A splitter is receiving the PoE signals and separating the power and data. Today we're going to use this 95 watts PoE splitter. This will split the power, one for the panel to zoom camera and one for the monitor. And then the data will go to the PTZ camera so we can see it going to the NVR and sending the image to our monitor. So the whole setup is really easy. Now let me show you guys. So we have our main network Ethernet cable connecting to our high power PoE injector. And then the Ethernet signal the PoE signal will be sent through the Ethernet with uh, to the PoE splitter. And then the PoE splitter will receive it and then we'll use this DC, these two DC cables to power the monitor and the PTZ camera. So the PTZ camera is Stuff diagnosing right now. After it's up, it's finished, it will show us the image, and we can see some image on our screen currently. So now we are just waiting for the camera to warm up, and then we can see some images on the screen. So now we have the image on our PTZ camera. You can see I'm moving my head in front of it to show that it is live video. 
So the host connection is successful. And remember, the data comes from the main network to our injector. The injector is just powered to the Ethernet cable, so PoE signals from the injector and receives the PoE signal at the splitter here and uh, splits it to uh, network signal through this Ethernet cable to our PDZ camera. And the PDZ camera will receive power from the splitter and so will the monitor. So this is pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, please leave them at the section below. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.